Hello friends. Today we will learn about adjectives and kinds of adjectives. So let's begin. An adjective is a word used with a noun to add something to its meaning. It means that an adjective will give you more information about a noun or it describes a noun. To understand this better, let's take few examples. A beautiful doll. Here, doll word is the noun and beautiful word is the adjective as it is explaining more about the doll. Let's take another example. This cap. Here the word cap is the noun and the word this is the adjective as it is telling us about which is referred to. Another example is my umbrella. Here the word my is the adjective which is telling about the position of the noun umbrella. In next example, sad story. Here adjective sad is telling us more about the noun story. So, an adjective is a word which is used with a noun to add more information to it. An adjective is usually put before the noun. It describes. But sometimes it is also used as separated from the noun and put after verbs like is, am, are, was, were, seem, appear, etc. For example, she is beautiful. The problem is difficult. He was sad. In these examples, the adjective is coming after the verbs. Now let's understand kinds of adjectives. There are six kinds of adjectives. Adjectives of quality, adjectives of quantity, adjectives of number, demonstrative adjectives, interrogative adjectives, and possessive adjectives. Let's start with adjectives of quality. Such adjectives tell us about the quality or kind of a person or thing we are talking about. For example, Mumbai is a big city. Here in this sentence, adjective is big and it is telling us the quality of the city. In another example, he bought a beautiful car. Here in this sentence, beautiful is the adjective and it is telling the quality of the car. Our next kind of adjective is adjectives of quantity. Such ad adjectives tell us how much of a thing is meant. Here it means what is the quantity of the thing. Let's look into the examples. There is not much milk in the jug. Here the word much is the adjective of quantity as it is telling about the quantity of the milk. In another example, there is enough water in the tank. Here enough is the adjective of quantity as it is telling about the quantity of water in the tank. Next kind of adjective is adjectives of number. An adjective of number tells how many persons or things are meant. It answers the question how many. Let's take an example to understand it better. I have two pencils in my box. Here in this sentence, the adjective two is telling about how many pencils so it is adjective of number and same in the next example saturday is the sixth day of the week here sixth is the adjective of number now how to know the difference between adjectives of quantity and adjectives of number it is very simple 
adjectives of quantity are used with uncountable nouns the nouns which cannot be counted for example rice sugar milk wood steel etc and the adjectives of number are used with countable nouns the nouns which can be counted for example balls men pencils etc so this is the difference between adjectives of quantity and adjectives of number let's move on to demonstrative adjectives such adjectives point out which person or thing is referred to for example these mangoes are sour here the adjective these is referring to the mangoes which are sour in another example can you see that building here the adjective that is referring to the building so this that these those such certain are demonstrative adjectives we should also remind one thing that demonstrative adjectives are followed by nouns while demonstrative pronouns stand alone let's take example to understand this that was a fantastic idea here in this sentence that is a demonstrative pronoun as it is not followed by any noun and in another example that idea was fantastic here that is a demonstrative adjective as it is followed by the noun idea so this is the difference between demonstrative pronoun and demonstrative adjective our next kind of adjective is interrogative adjectives as from the word interrogative itself you can understand it means questions so these adjectives are used with nouns to ask questions for example whose book is this here whose is the interrogative adjective as it is asking a question and it is followed by the noun book same in the rest of the examples which movie did you see yesterday here which is the interrogative adjective what is it time sorry what time is it by your watch here what is the interrogative adjective let's move on to our last kind of adjective which is possessive adjectives the words my our your his her its their are possessive adjectives when used with nouns to show who possesses something something here it means the possessive adjectives tell about the possession or the ownership of a thing let's understand this with the help of few examples this is your hat here the word your is the possessive adjective as it is telling about the ownership of the hat in next sentence my books are on the table here my is the possessive adjective as it is telling about the possession of the books like to whom the books belong his father is a businessman here his is the possessive adjective so these were the different kinds of adjectives i really hope you understood the topic well have a wonderful day ahead thank you bye bye